I wanted to do one simple thing, and as it turns out, it's actually a little bit harder than it should be. Uh, namely, I wanted to take an SVG graphic and import it into SketchUp. Now there's a plugin for that, but it's incredibly challenging to set up and it disables some other SketchUp functions. So <clears throat> I was trying to find a better way to do that and I basically created this fairly straightforward method. And so now I'm hoping to share that so that uh, other people can do this just as easily. And you'd think it would be a simple basic function, but it's not. So <clears throat> here's my SVG graphic that I want to import into SketchUp. This is an illustrator, that's where I do my SVGs. Um, you could also use Inkscape. Uh, this one looks a bit weird because it's the 64-bit version. But uh, this is the same SVG in Inkscape. So the first step is after you've created your SVG just to save it to the desktop. And then you want to open up Blender and go to File, Import, SVG. And this is so cool that Blender has native SVG support. And then click Import. So uh, here it is. You can't see it because it's incredibly tiny, so I'm going to have to scale that up, hitting the S key and then dragging to get it to a reasonable size. So now what we have here is not actually what you would call geometry. It's a curve. And uh, you can actually do quite a few things uh, with this curve. Let me go to the uh, properties window. And uh, this allows you to do some pretty cool things. You can click on curve here and uh, edit some various things like extrude. and uh, bevel, change the uh, smoothness of the bevel. So that's pretty cool, right? And uh, those are just a couple of minor things that I'm showing as sort of an extra thing that you can do here, not really for the export-import process, but just in case you wanted to play around with your model a little bit in uh, Blender before you sent it to SketchUp. So the question is, how do we get this uh, at relatively abstract curve object into SketchUp? And so what you want to do is ha have this selected and be in object mode and then go to object convert to mesh from curve and that will turn it into a mesh. Now at this point if you wanted to you could do a couple of minor uh, operations to just sort of clean this up a bit and that's what I would do. I would just click on a polygon, go to select uh, linked flat faces and then go to mesh uh, faces beautify faces and that just uh, reorganizes the polygons in a slightly better way and uh, so from that point you would just go to file export Collada and go to your desktop export and uh, rename this and uh, export so now you have a Collada file on your desktop. And you open SketchUp, go to File, Import, and then select your um, Collada file. And you'll you might have to select this before it shows up in your window, and then say Open. And 
and just ignore that. And then there you go, there's your SVG. And uh, by default it's grouped, so you will want to just ex explode to inspect and uh, manipulate. And then, as you can see, it's a fully um, manipulatable object that you can mess around with in uh, SketchUp. So, yeah, that's basically the process, and uh, this is a hell of a lot easier than the SketchUp uh, SVG plugin, which uh, would be the ideal option, but due to some compatibility issues and so forth, it's a huge pain in the ass. This is just a lot easier. Uh, I mean, I know it seems a little bit complicated at first, but it's actually quite a bit easier than getting the plugin working. So. Yeah, I hope this uh, helps you on your uh, projects, and thanks for watching.